So again, this is another one of those things that they made you afraid of Trump doing, but the, the, it's the Biden White House and the Democrats who are doing it. Now they're shouting down and humiliating black African reporters in the press room at the White House. You thought, you thought this is what Trump was going to do, right? No, it's not. This is what Joe Biden does as he's trying to kill Julian Assange. They're also uh, silencing and censoring African, Amer African, literal African reporters in the White House. African reporter who heckled Saki says payments from Axe site subscribe. Remember that? So when Jen Saki wouldn't call on him, and so he made a big deal out of it, and... And then uh, Stripe stopped his payments to his uh, website. So he has a news website and people can pay for their premium services and whatever to get their news. And they took away his ability to do that because he stood up for himself at the, in the White House press room. Right. And if that was Trump's White House, they would be, he would be outraged that they were silencing an African reporter. Didn't Jim Acosta get a huge book deal from interrupting yes, <laughs> press conferences? Yes, that's right. Boy, first he ruins Jen Psaki's going away party, and now this. Huh, Kurt? <laughs> so here it is. Here, absolute chaos yesterday. So here it is. He tries to, this is the White House spokesperson, Jean-Pierre, and uh, let's watch. You can't keep discriminating against some people in the briefing room because you don't like them, you don't like them. So you have a choice. You, you have a choice. You have a choice. A number of people okay. in the briefing room. And I'm saying that that's not right. This is not China. This is not Russia. This is the United ah! States. This is the White House. This isn't Russia. This isn't China. Someone like screamed that someone's in agony. China. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> So the other reporters, of course, are not backing this guy. The other reporters want him to shut up. Here we go. He's been seven months. I sent you seven months. You're the rest of us are here too, pal. He's been seven months. You guys have not done that anymore. If you have grievances, you should bring them to her later. So that these are reporters that are defending a White House staffer, a professional bullshitter liar. That's what the White House press secretary is, a professional liar. That's what she is. She's a big, huge liar. And now there's reporters who are paid by the same people who pay her are defending her. Isn't this weird to see reporters defend someone as powerful as her? They're defending a, the most powerful person in the room. <laughs> She's the most powerful person in the room, for sure. You know... Also, it's not like this guy's just a reporter from Africa. It's not like he's from Fox News. That's right. In fact, if he was from Fox, they would call on they him. They would call on him more. Yeah. Here, it keeps going. I have right done now, that. I have done that. All my emails have been ignored. And the press corps is tired of dealing with this. It is. I have done that. You, I understand that you get questions all the time and you the don't understand why it is to sit here for eight months and being discriminated eight, against. Eight, I understand eight, that you're in the front row and you feel comfortable and you get questions all the time. But there are people in the back who don't get any questions. Don't make assumptions about what the rest of us do. Mind your manners when you're in here. If you have a problem, you bring it up afterwards. But you are impinging on every Everybody in here who's only trying to do their job. Okay, Sorry. thank you. I'm saying that you shouldn't <laughs> discriminate against some people because you don't agree with their questions. Wow. You're offended Major by point. your Major questions. Point. Major point. We all heard it. So the guy who was shouting him down is this guy, Brian James Kareem. He's an American journalist and author working as the White House correspondent for Playboy. <laughs> And a political analyst for CNN. Of course he is. He also hosts the Just Ask the Question podcast. <laughs> Give this though. You know what would be even better than Just Ask a Question podcast? How about Just Answer the Question podcast? <laughs> Brian James Karem? More like Brian James Karen. Am I right? <laughs> Hey, you know what a Karen of color is called? A Kareen. <laughs> this is the guy who told him to mind his manners. That's the guy. That's uh, real. That really happened. It really sounds so like. Well, remember, if that, if, that, if that was if that was Trump's press secretary yeah. saying that to an African journalist, they would all be outraged. Hey, ew! Who invited that's you? Right. That's what that's like. Ew. Uh, 
That's how they reported it. Disruptive White House reporter goes on bizarre rant about Kareem Jean. So what? So when Jim Acosta did that to Trump and he wouldn't give the microphone back and he wouldn't stop talking, that was standing up to power. But now because they like Joe Biden and the Democrats, uh, that's how they report. They turn on reporters. They call him a disruptive White House reporter. You know what we need? We need more disruptive White House reporters. Well, now is, look, democracy's on the edge. The last thing we need is a primary or reporting. If you're, I just don't, I guess a disruptor, Kurt, is only good to be called if you're in the tech industry. You know, they say, we're disrupting the space. Yeah. If you're a reporter and you pull that shit, you'll be disrupted (laughs) by the tech industry. (laughs) Yeah. Your PayPal's gone. That's right. Your PayPal, your Stripe payment. No PayPal for you, pal. That's right. Ha. Disruptive White House reporter goes on bizarre rant about (laughs) Kareem Jean-Pierre. Tell me what he did that wasn't great. (laughs) Um, He had this weird accent. It was really bizarre and disruptive. Here's how Fox News covered it. Reporter slams Kareem Jean-Pierre for refusing to take his questions. They look down on me. Yeah, I mean, that was obvious from all of the audio. Hey, just be glad that weird, bald Matt Damon nuclear official isn't stealing your clothes. <laughs> okay? It could be worse. could be worse. <laughs> ABC's The View blasts Simon Ateba, not a serious journalist. He ran to Tucker Carlson. Every story, every story, you're either with us against or against us. Every story. Were they going to have him on The View? Every story. No, I guess they just ripped him on The View. Oh my God! The he should have. Who should he have run to? You guys, so you could shit on him for for, for asking questions. He it. All the other journalists are in the room. Yes. not gonna not listen doing to him, anything. But... Who's he supposed to run to? No one. Just shut up and stop being disruptive. He should have went on the view and let Whoopi fart over his complaints. Yeah, this is amazing. The Twitter files they reported as if it's left versus right. Kyle Rittenhouse. No matter what it is. Every climate change, vaccines, lockdowns, no matter what it is, they report it in a way that divides the country. If nothing is worse than Trump, then you really should be smarter about <laughs> That's right. going about this. Because there's the reason you have to have this bullshit charge to try to stop him right now. Mm-hmm. Could have been stopped a long time long ago. Long time ago. Go to JimmyDoor.com to see my new stand-up special, COVID Lies Are Funny. For only $10, you get to become a premium member, too. And come see us do our live shows. We're going to be doing stand-up comedy in Milwaukee, Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, New York, Coho's, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Maryland, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm-hmm.